afternoon, Internet! Sadly, this is actually my second recording of this video, because apparently I told it to hit preview stream instead of record, so I just went through an entire hour of this game and didn't record a single minute of it. I'm awesome! On the plus side, now I know exactly where to go. So, shall we? While we're here, because this is actually something I left behind last- oh wait, I need to grab an item first. So, let's go ahead and... Stop by here. Grab the stuff that I actually need, not store. Move, item, gold key. Annie can hold it. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and sell some stuff. I like ruining the economy of Marion for some reason. I know they don't deserve it or anything, it's just my only thought is, you know, I keep selling crap constantly to this place. And I never buy anything anymore. Uh, yeah, that's probably about it. Okay. So, um... I actually forgot to grab the tablet from Bandor. I spent a good chunk of time trying to figure out what in the world I needed to do where the missing tablet was, and... Yep, nope, that was just me being stupid. Hopefully this video will be much faster as a result, because I know where everything's at now. Mostly. Alright. Go up... In... Go way back. We had spotted a room that seemed to have had some mysterious item in it, like an ancient tablet. See, we could sort of see it. However, we needed this gold key in order to be able to grab it. There we go. Tablet obtained. Tablet! Tablet. I don't suppose I can just, like, escape, can I? Nope. I had to try. I know there's no random battles here anymore, so it's not that big of a deal. It's just... Would've been nice to be able to do it. At this point, I just need to get out. Right, let's go ahead... Drop those two items off, because I'm going to be really tight on inventory space for a bit. I'm going to need the tablets immediately after this dungeon, but that's okay. Oh, here we go again with that glitch. So, I entered from the rear of the t of Isela, as you can tell from where Steiner's at. But at the same time, I ended up in the top of the town. So, what I think is actually happening is that I'm getting out of Steiner at a weird spot, and the game just doesn't know where I'm at. It's unfortunate, and it's obnoxious. Yes, let's talk to the treasure chest. I did that last time, too. Okay, go I don't need to remove. I actually need to store stuff this time. Let's store some items, like this gold key. And this ancient tablet here. That should be good. And while we're at it, let's go store some money. No. Like, all of it. Seriously, it doesn't let me do... Fine. So I'm just really curious as to how much... Oops. Oh, apparently I can only store in thousands, so... I have 535 gold. Let's try to remember that. I don't think I will, but let's try anyway. Okay. So glad I actually made a real save, which is the reason why I didn't quite appear in the same spot as before, because I had saved over my save state from before. Mostly because I thought I was perfectly fine. I need to actually look at the wreck indication instead of just noticing that time's going by. So this is actually um, Pity Island. There's nothing on the island outside of this one small puzzle dungeon. Yep, that's right. Puzzle dungeon. 
So, there is a shtick with this dungeon, and I will get to it in the second floor, because there's nothing on the first floor that does anything with it, other than seeing red mushrooms. They don't really do anything at the moment. These enemies are also really easy. I mean, when I went through this dungeon before, I actually got away without using any depletable resources. I did, but that's because I needed to um, make room in my inventory, which is one of the reasons why I drop things off ahead of time. The Mage's Jewel, by the way, is an item Excuse me, that does a full restore of MP. They're extremely rare. Oh, I hate dealing with Dark Elves, and now I'm lower level, so I can't just kill them very quickly. Oh well. And we'll give him some good old Steiner. I only got hit for 12, I'm fine. So, the shtick for this dungeon are these green mushrooms. It shrinks you. That's all it does. And the red mushrooms grow you. And when you're in battle and shrunken, you look really cute like that. I don't like you, Kim. These enemies are actually pretty easy, it's just annoying. Lorelei's groggy, that's fine. Um, also, while you're shrunk, you can't walk through rocks. You make that weird sound effect. That's it. Oh, um, there's actually one other thing in this. There are two other things in this dungeon, now that I think about it. There's holes that you can drop down. Some of them very small holes, so you need to be tiny to drop down them. And there's also leaves, where you have to be tiny in order to ride a leaf along the water. That's it. There's not really anything else involved. Yeah, I probably don't want to be sped up for this dungeon. Oh, yeah, and there's no combat effect for being tiny, which is fine. I'm a quick leveled up. Don't care. Um, other things I was talking about when I recorded this before. Part of the problem is that I'm going to have start, start having some memory problems because I've, this is the second time I've recorded this entire video. I was not joking. It was an hour, one minute, and like 52 seconds or something like that. Um... I should probably actually heal at some point. Like that now. So, one of the things that I... Yay, Ocarina. And it didn't break. Good. That's the way they're supposed to work. So, one of the things that I've done this game that I haven't done in previous versions of this is that... Um... See, there's a tiny hole. Let's me get at the treasure chest, which gives me power nux. I don't know why Edward really wants the power nux, but you know, they're lore lies. Uh, you can go ahead and take a mage potion in exchange. Yep. Respect knuckles. Um. Oh, so one of the things I'm doing this time that I haven't done in the past is grind after getting Lorelei and Domino. Um. Most of the times that I play this game, there we go, I end up grinding at the first spot in the game where I just go, Ugh, why? That'd be the area before I got heal rain. Um, it's normally a decent place to grind because you get a lot of experience and you can be very nearby towns. But, well... Oh, how to describe... The problem with doing it that way is that you end up with a party that, well, you get Domino and Lorelei at a really low level. I mean, even in this game, they're eight levels below the rest of the party. They'll eventually catch up mostly. They'll never truly catch up, though. Um, they're pretty much going to be stuck at least a couple of levels lower than the rest of my party for the entire game, which is fine, actually. Edward's groggy again. That's fine. I'm not too concerned about being groggy right now. They're, this dungeon's not very large. Uh, and I'm being asked the question in ASR. I should probably answer it soon. Da 
Oh, I hate both of these enemies. Go up! Or I leveled up and learned Cure 2. Ah, crap. I shouldn't have sped up during that. That was my own stupid fault. Yeah, Dark Elves shouldn't be a problem anymore now that um, Miguedka is fast enough to go faster than them. Let's do this again without the speed up outside of combat. Oh, Manticores are new enemies for you all, so I shouldn't go as fast as I have been. I um, probably should heal after this. Manticores aren't really all that special. They can poison, that's really about it. And yes, I heavily rely upon Angel Ocarinas for healing because, well, free healing. Sure, I have to pay 666 gold pieces to repair them, but money is easy to come by. Inventory slots aren't. You'll notice that I'm going to start depleting my mage potions for a bit. That's mostly so I can start having real inventory space again. I'm fine for the time being, but I won't be fine for too much longer. Um, Domino just learned Wind 3, which is nice. Uh, and that means he has an area of effect spell that hits everybody again. Like, not again. Well, it is again for me, but... Okay. Uh, that's right, there was nothing in there. Games troll and me. Troll, 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 troll. Evil shamans are evil for many reasons. Let's see if they'll be evil. Nope. As long as you hit them, they're not that evil. Um, they will default to healing themselves over anything else, basically. And Annie learned silence too, which doesn't really matter. Lorelei, you can go ahead and heal to Edward. It's probably the easiest dungeon in the game to me. Not that it's super easy or anything, it's just... In comparison to everything else that I've been through recently, this is nothing. And these are the knives. Yeah, they're a throwing knife. And I need to use an item. Or drop something. I think I'm just going to drop the leather glove. Let's be on. Oh, no, that's actually worth a fair amount of money. Wink. Yep, can't go that way. Pyrohydra is the usual. Boink. I guess I should probably use another... I should take another hit of the Angel Ocarina. Ah, oh, that's the stuff right there. Alright, broke one Ocarina. That's fine. I've got plenty more. Yeah, you really want to hit those guys first, because otherwise they summon- Ooh, McWed goes groggy. That's new. I'm getting groggier more this time. I'm probably just not paying as much attention as I should. Oh well, not a big deal. So, basically you want to drop down here big. Because then you can walk through those rocks and go up the stairs. I know, real difficult stuff here. This is still nothing in comparison to most of the dungeons that we've gone through. Wait, seriously? 
This is nothing compared to the first puzzle dungeon. Come on! I can get up there later. No, I have to go up there anyway, that's right. This is the part of the game that I'm actually stronger than the enemies. It's great. Oh, that ocarina is broken. Use a different ocarina! When in doubt, ocarina of time. Okay, so there's enough time involved. I'm trying to remember which ones to do where. I think this is the next one I want to do. Oh, that's right, that was a new enemy. I don't know, I still haven't seen the enemy alive. That's not a joke, I... It's never had an action. Oh, I guess you get to see what the evil shamans do. Oh, I didn't mean to have Lorelei attack there. Yep. Hey, look, I got tightened. So, it, d it does, like, 10 to 11 damage to me. If I didn't have the resist jewel, it would be doing 22, I believe. Lorelei leveled up. That's good. Although, crappy level up stats. Uh, let's go ahead and use an ocarina. Climb upstairs. This is actually the reason why we are here. We need the last of the ancient tablets. The reason why I'm using an item is because I don't have any inventory space. Herb up Nikwedka. Might as well. It's up to 60 PP. Nice. Oh, um, something else that I made a comment on last time is I'm noticing that Domino has really low VP. It's kind of like, you know, he who shall not be named. Let's actually get in the shot, that would help. Ah, burials! These guys are just hit hard. There's nothing really to them. In fact, they're actually really weak. Notice how much damage Edward does now? It's kind of funny. Again, really weak. Hippogriffs can also poison. I'm sorry, you don't get much rage from me in this dungeon because this is just too easy. I'm serious. This dungeon's really easy. Oh crap! Damn it! And I reloaded rather than hitting F4. Ah! How far back am I? I dropped off all the tablets. That that's great. Well, I see what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be editing this video, so you don't have to watch me go through all of that again. This is the third time I've gone through that dungeon now. that That's great, me. Yay, I suck. No, so, well, enjoy whatever music I decide for this.
and welcome back everybody! As you notice that my lips aren't quite matching what I'm speaking, um, well, I accidentally kept my microphone up, which causes it to mute. Which means I recorded this entire section and have absolutely no audio whatsoever, so I am actually re-recording the audio here just for your pleasure. Aren't I a nice derp? Derp! So, um, this is the point where I've re-fast-forwarded through all of the lovely funness of the past, uh, looks like about three and a half minutes. I'm actually editing this while I speak this. Um, so I'm just heading back to grab the last of the items. Uh, this was, if I remember correctly, an item for the key? Yeah, the battle key. Um, equipment for Lorelei, which we really need equipment for Lorelei. Trust me, we need equipment for Lorelei. Hmm. I really used up a lot of Yoke Arena uses in this one, didn't I? Hmm. So yeah, I'm dealing with a lot of inventory management problems in this one. Might not be a bad idea for me to speed this up some, because, well, to be honest, there's not really a whole bunch to talk about. Woo. Ah, <sighs> stupid derp arrow. So, from here, I'm just heading back over to... Well, first off, I screw up and go, Oh, right, I don't really need to be here. But never mind. I'm just selling stuff so I have room in my inventory. I've got those three items that I replaced, basically, and that's what I'm selling. The old stuff, that is, not the new stuff. And then, just repairing all of my ocarinas. I accidentally try to sell one. I don't, luckily. Um, if it weren't for the stupid ocarinas, I would have made roughly 12,000 gold off of that one trip. So, here we go, back there, and wait, where did I go? Oh, right, I forgot! I wanted to show you Tableau! So, I have Tableau for a laptop! You can even see it. See, it says Tableau for a laptop. This is a, um, oh, how to say it? This is a strange device that's supposed to convert a laptop computer into a touchscreen and stylus-based tablet. I picked it up off of Woot. This is probably the most Ingrished up piece of instructions I have ever seen. Um, it actually works decently well given what it is. The problem is that, well, somebody didn't quite think their cunning driver plan through. The problem with the device is that every time you use it, you have to calibrate it. What that means is that you go through this calibration scheme and it actually works fairly well. The problem, though, is that every time you unplug it, you have to recalibrate it. Which, given that this is a laptop, is every time you use the device. That's not at all useful. So at this point, I'm just flying down. I'm um, just flying back to Pity Island. Oh, that's some weird... There we go. Video kind of glitched for a moment. Um, just flying from Pity Island. The guide that I'm accidentally following actually tells me to go north. But obviously, that's where Isela Village is. So I'm actually going to go south from here. There we go. I'm actually doing this from memory, so that's pretty good. Hmm. So, south of Vasella Village, and a little bit over... Wow, there's a lot of video artifacting from this, isn't there? There's these four tiny islands. Um, each of these islands are very similar. There's no dungeon or anything like it, that involved. And from here, you there's always a guard of some variety. They have some very interesting things to say, and this is actually how you get to Quamdar, basically. Wow, there's a lot of weird video artifacting, in this, isn't there? I really hope that this doesn't come up in the actual render. That would kind of look ugly. Um, basically, you go to each of these pyramids, you can see that there used to be something there, and then you throw the tablet down. That's it. That's all there is. There's nothing else to this. There's an item in three of the four of these temple locations. In fact, I'm about to go grab one of them. Is it that one? No, no, it's the next one. Yep, fire ring. This is the only useful item of the three. Uh, fire Ring can be used for Fire 3, if I remember right, and also increases your defense by 2. It's very similar to the Ice Ring. I give it to Annie. Annie can use a little bit more defense. Mikwedka and Edward already have defense-increasing rings, so... Yarp! And then I go on to the next one. We. Each of these islands are actually linked by this strange set of Reef Circle. Um, north, east, south, and west for each of the islands from here. They're not very far away. So, like I said, each of these people have interesting things to say. Um, this is actually the place where you find out where the tablets are, 
Except that, with the exception of Pity Island, you have to go to all of these places, and I guess you don't have to go to Barbaros, I suppose. Um, but you will probably see most of the uh, tablets just going through the game to begin with, so that was not exactly super useful information. Use the tablet, glowy blue circle-y thingy, and then gain a cursed item. Evil scale, the other one's also a cursed item. Wow, I jabber quite a bit. It's weird talking while I see myself talk. I wonder if I could ever be a voice actor. I'm not very good at synchronizing my words to my lips. Yeah. Yep, yep, yeah. Anyway. So, third guy. Strong, brave, and intelligent. That guy has the least amount of sight, and this is also the place that doesn't have any of the items there. So let's go ahead and fast forward a bit. Fast forward! <laughs> Yay, Steiner! We Steiner! And there we go, landing at the last spot. Um, this one has the most interesting thing to stay in my mind. Stay? Say. So, the Legend of Flying Palace. Basically, Aaron and his four followers headed to Quamdar in the Flying Palace to make peace with the devils. Or demons, or whatever they called them. Um, here's the weird part. You never hear anything about the four followers. Ever. That's the type of thing that in most RPGs would be like, Oh, hey, look, four followers. Maybe that's so some, you know, useful tidbit and there'll be a surprise. No. Unless if it's the four demons that you have to fight, which I'm pretty sure it's not, they never get mentioned. Also, um... Aaron plus four followers. That would be five characters, which the game considers an ideal battle party for any form of warfare. All right, place the tablet. Flowing circle gets brighter. Ah, zong. Pew 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 pew. By Arca powers combined, we form Palace. Strange Pyramid Palace thingy! Bam! Done! It's actually a spaceship, by the way. Um, remember what Aaron mentioned earlier, he's actually a space alien, so... These are all spaceships. Anyway, the weird part about the whole five thing is... Just... It kind of means, in my mind, that um, Aaron's party was an adventuring group, kind of like your own. So, since you are the light, and you are the chosen of Aaron, and you are the head of an adventuring group of five characters, my theory is that you are actually the long-lost son of Aaron. Bam. Done. Headcanon now. Wow, the video art of acting is terrible. I'm pretty sure that's not going to show up. I really hope not. Anyway, all I do from here is get on to Steiner, and then the flying pyramid is in the center of the islands. It's kind of obvious. Oh yeah, I totally flew in the wrong direction. Whoops. Sorry about that. Let's go fly in the correct direction. That helps, usually. Here we go. I swear the emulator doesn't actually look like that. I hope that this doesn't look like that in the long term. Anyway, this is where I stop for the day. So, I will see you next time. With all this editing, there's no way I'm going to do anymore. Bye!